Marianne, please accept my apologies for my behavior yesterday. I'm not sure what you mean. Asking you about your family like that was pretty insensitive of me. No matter how curious I am, that's no way to treat someone. I'm sorry. Oh, no. You weren't being insensitive. I just didn't want to talk about it. I don't spend much time talking about myself. Not to people, anyway. If not people, then with who? Unpeople? <gasps> Non-people? Well, yes. I'm much more comfortable talking to anyone who isn't a person. I was actually joking, but now I'm mystified. Who is it you like to talk to? Dorte the horse. Ah, of course. Good old Dorte. And does he understand what you tell him? We understand each other. He tells me when he's sleepy, or when his stomach hurts, or if his nose itches. Sounds like a complainer, that Dorte. But let's table this fascinating discussion for just a moment. Now that we've gotten in some small talk, I'd like to know what you're hiding. You are hiding something, right? Your lineage, perhaps? N no If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If it's all just idle gossip, that's fine too. But if it's something silly like, my ancestors were cursed, therefore I'm cursed, you should know that I won't accept that nonsense. That sort of thinking is stupid, and that's all there is to it. Say your ancestors were thieves. Does that make you a thief, even if you've never stolen a thing? Of course not. But people have burdens to bear from the moment they're born. My burdens are so big that I... I'm sorry, I can't discuss this anymore. People certainly are born with burdens. She's right about that. But Marianne, don't you know that you can choose not to carry them? Ah, so I see. If one were to combine this incantation method with the power of a crest, then in theory, it should... Hey there. Still studying, are we? Isn't it past your bedtime? Claude, I really don't appreciate you interrupting me right now. Uh, but if you don't get your sleep, you're never gonna grow big and strong. Uh-huh. The last thing I need is you fretting over me as though I'm some child. I'm only a few years younger than you, you know. Hardly worth noting. Furthermore, my grades in magic and basically every other subject are far higher than yours. Whoa there. I'm not trying to treat you like a child, I promise. This is me treating you like... like a princess. Now, come along, princess. Brush your teeth and get yourself ready for bed. I could read you a story, if that helps. Ugh, the audacity. Whatever it is you think you're treating me like, it's unendingly annoying. If a child and a princess are out, what's left? Should I treat you as a noble hero? Draw your sword, Lysithia. If you wish to continue studying, you must first defeat me in battle. Come now, face me like the hero of legend that you are. I find myself speechless in the wake of your staggering ignorance. Now, please, leave me be. <laughs> okay, okay, I can take a hint. But in all seriousness, you shouldn't neglect your sleep. You'll fall ill if you push yourself too hard. Oh, and just so you know, I heard a rumor that this library is haunted. <gasps> it's probably not true. Right? Right. Anyhow, I'm off to bed. Good night. You know, I am suddenly rather sleepy. Excuse me while I see myself out. <laughs> no matter how she tries to hide it, she's still a young girl at heart. <laughs>
I'm glad I asked you. take me for? I'm fine. Perfectly and completely fine. It's hardly different from daytime. I'm not scared. Ghost! Uh, hang on. Professor? Is that you? Oh, well, <laughs> good evening! <laughs> Oh, I left something in the dining hall, so I'm on my way to fetch it. But you don't need to come with me or anything like that. I'm fine on my own, really. You weren't? Oh, apologies for making an assumption. The truth is, everyone I come across asks if I'd like some company. They all seem to think I'll be scared wandering alone at night. So rude and presumptuous, you know. I'm perfectly capable of being on my own. Hey, Professor, wait! I, um, well, I thought it might be nice to walk and talk together to the dining hall, shall we? To be abundantly clear, this has nothing to do with my non-existent fear of ghosts. Oh, you must be bored. Fantastic, then. Do you mind, um, filling the void with some chatter? Some find silence to be a bit unsettling, after all. Okay, I confess. I am scared of ghosts. The monastery is unnerving to me at night. So, can we talk about something, please? Anything. I've noticed for quite some time now, you treat all your students equally, don't you? You've never treated me differently simply because I'm younger than the others. And I've always appreciated that. Isn't it rather obvious? I'm roughly two to three years younger than the rest of the class. Have you just not been paying close enough attention to those you teach? That's poor form for a professor. Oh, there! I found what I was looking for. Well, I'd better be on my way now. Good night! It's amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too? I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. <laughs> What's the matter? You're running all over... Even so, the goddess, they say, not too light. What's the matter? Even so, the goddess, they say, not to. Professor. 
That's right. Hmm. I've been in... It was easy, thanks to you. Experience is everything. <laughs> I could get used to this. I learned a lot from this. It was easy, thanks to you. I can't believe it. Oh, I'll try to get the next one, too. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That was nice. It was quite a challenge. Aha! I'm getting it! than I thought. Don't stop. Keep it coming. It was quite a challenge. I've come to understand a great deal. My efforts have borne fruit. That was adequate. Professor. Wasn't so bad. I see. It's all making sense now. 
better than before. It's starting to make sense. I'm getting the hang of it. Glory of progress. Thanks. <laughs> 